Hey guys, I'm Will and welcome back to The Inner Circle. This here is The Inner Sanctum of The Inner Circle. And today we're going to be talking about memory cards and storage and how to get content from one device to the other. Wait a minute, do you hear that? That is actually my computer over there singing to me. It's Adele. All right, let me go take care of that. All right, all better. And no, I did not turn off my computer. All I did was simply cancel the ambient noise in the room. You wanna know how to do that? Go ahead and subscribe, that's a video coming up. Anyway, back to the storage solution. So I have a lot of devices. You know, I have phones. I carry around a Tab S8 for when I don't have my computer or laptop with me. It comes in handy. You know, I also have my Samsung laptop, and I'll also carry around things like um, my Switch. I also sometimes need to get content from my phone to my camera, from my camera to my computer, and there's just not really an easy way to do that without memory cards. My main issue is keeping track of my cards and figuring out how to store them properly and in a way that I can find them easily. This isn't a new problem, but this is a magnified problem as I've become a content creator and trying to get my content organized in a way that I know where everything's at. First, I tried these little plastic sleeves, which they make the card themselves bigger, but it doesn't solve the problem of them just still laying around the house or in the car or wherever. They're still not organized great. Uh, then I upgraded to this cheap little card holder. It holds six SD cards, which uh, seemed like a good solution, but this is flimsy and the cards would just fall out. And it only holds six cards. So I've also tried just a little, a basic little case. Put your cards in there, organize them, but you can't really organize them that well in there. And that just wasn't a great solution either. And it also doesn't solve the problem of how I'm gonna get my data from one device to the next. We have these little card reader solutions and they're just as easy to lose as the SD cards themselves. So I come across something on Amazon called the Booty. Badu. Bo booty? was that from? Booty. And this promises to solve all, all of my issues and that's what we're going to do today is unbox this Booty. It's a card reader and card storage for all of my SD cards, trans flash devices, and, and also nano SIM cards. And as a new content creator I'd like to share when I find something interesting with you guys. And just maybe that'll help you in some way and you can find some use in something like this as well. This is not sponsored, it's just something that's fulfilling a need that I have. Let's get over to the desk and we will unbox it. So let's just go ahead and get into this booty, booty storage device unboxing and demonstration. Here I have some of the cards that I will be putting into this storage manager. These in the box are just micro SD card adapters that turn your micro SD cards into regular SD cards. So that's going to be a good place for them since I don't need seven of them. And uh, I know some of you will ask, what are the best cards to use for video editing? Anytime I'm recording in 4K 30 frames per second, I go for the V30 cards. And if I want to record in 4K 60 frames per second, I go for V60 cards. Let's go ahead and unbox this booty USB-C3 card reader multifunction storage di stick. Of course, it's uh, made in China. And comes in a nice cheap plastic case, but hey, this feels pretty sturdy. It's made out of aluminum, it seems. Let's see if we have any. We have a warranty card. And we also have schematics on how to use 
and the different things that come in the box or come in the stick itself. Put this to the side. So it seems as if you open it that way and it looks like it has a lot of storage which is what it said so I was hoping and I will just go ahead and insert all of these SD cards and it seems very very sturdy in holding the cards they're not just going to slip right out you kind of have to push or pull them out with, with your finger now so that's good it has a slot for nano SIM cards you should just slide in the middle here and also more storage for your micro SD cards and the full size SD cards also slot in right there and they are a little loose well well this last one's a little loose but everything else is secure very well even the nano sims are secured pretty well I don't like that screech you can hear that almost needs some WD-40 but you wouldn't want to put WD-40 on the inside of this on the other side, okay, so this is the other thing I thought was really interesting. That just doesn't want to come out. Okay, so that is a USB-C to USB-A converter. That's, that could come in handy. This next one is a USB-C to micro USB adapter. Uh, I don't know if I have any micro SD things this day and age. And the last one is a lightning to USB-C adapter. That would come in handy for people with um, the inferior Apple products. But yeah, that, that uh, could come in handy for trying to recover data or trying to um, we're trying to move content from an Apple device. And then you have your SIM eject tool in the bottom. And that would come in very handy. Let's see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and put one of my Samsung Pros into my Tab S8. Perfect. That worked well. Just insert that and voila. So that's great. Now let's see how it works as a memory stick. Let's say I just recorded some footage on this micro SD card and I want to get it onto my Tab S8. Let's see if we can get it the right way. So what you would do in that case is I'm guessing pull out this USB-C insert your micro, uh, micro SD card in there then we are going to plug this directly into this tab S8 Let's see what happens open file commander Okay, let's do it. Looks like we have some ads. Continue to app. Let's not get full access. I really don't care. So I have the SD card I just inserted and that is not what I'm looking for. I don't think. So I have internal, I have the SD card Let's see what we have. Charging connected device via USB. Tap for other options. Transfer files. Let's see if that does anything. Cannot switch. 
Let's hit cancel. So that's the SD card. Huh. I wonder if it's seeing. Let's go ahead and pull out the micro SD card from here. and reconnect this and see if it shows up. Okay, let's, let's open it with that and see what we got. Okay, there we have a USB drive right there. This folder is empty, but it does see the USB drive, which is exactly what I wanted. So we could move files. Um, let's go to download and let's move this move and then it says move to we want to go to USB drive and move here now let's look at the USB drive and there it is okay so the card reader functionality works well the storage seems to work well I like that you can use several different devices with these converters and it should keep all of my storage in one device in one place. There's even more storage. I don't need more storage, but there is more storage on the back side of this. Two more micro SD cards, two more micro SD cards, and a regular sized SD card. So plenty of space for all your storage. And the best part is you don't have to carry around a separate card reader or micro SD card reader. It just, um, just works with it. It's not bad. I really like this. I think this will be the solution I was looking for. Let's get it back, put it back together. See the, that cable's a little hard to get back together. So uh, the pros are it does everything I wanted. It, it uh, organizes all of my storage media, uh, micro SD cards, SD cards, nano SIM cards, and it also has the card reader functionality um, and it has the three separate connection converters. The only things I don't like about it are it sounds a little squeaky when you open it. I wonder what that is. So I'm not sure what this is. I might have to look in the manual. There's a little pop out here. Maybe, maybe that's to hold. I'm not sure what that's for, but interesting. We'll see if it holds up over time and I will update you guys in the future. I will see you guys in the next video.